All right, Riverfront faithful. Uh, Nate Dotson here to recap the Pirates Reds series. And you won't freaking believe it. The Cincinnati Reds, your Cincinnati Reds, have won their first series of the season. Thank goodness for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, game one was arguably the most anticipated matchup of the year thus far for the Red Legs. Unfortunately, some inclement weather moved in and the game got postponed. That prevented us from witnessing an epic struggle between one man and the Toyota Tundra. Well, we don't know yet when the rematch will take place, but I'll be paying close attention, so stay tuned. Saturday brought us a little day-night doubleheader, and game one was a Tyler Stevenson show. The pride of Kennesaw, Georgia, got the offense started with a two-run double in the first. He repeated those heroics in the eighth inning with the game tied 2-2 with another two-bagger that probably would have cleared the bases if anyone other than noted thoroughbred Mike Moustakis had not been on first base. Tyler Naquin did clear the, uh, clear the bases with a double later that inning, and the Red Legs would finish things off with a 9-2 victory, ending a two-week losing streak for the good guys. Soon-to-be Reds legend Connor Overton had his second consecutive strong outing, going 5-3, and third, allowing two earned runs with four strikeouts. And man, we got that so unfamiliar feeling of a win early on Saturday. Then, after a little siesta, the clubs met again for a nightcap, and most of us probably wish they had not. The Pirates put up a four spot in the top of the first against the dynamic duo of Dari Moretta and Philip Deal, which is somehow an accurate series of words. This season has been weird, uh, just, just weird. More evidence of that weirdness arrived in the form of consecutive solid outings by Brandon Drury, who is probably the team MVP at this point, and the aforementioned Mike Moustakis. I'm not mad. I'm just confused. Um, a couple missed opportunities later, and the Reds went home with an 8-5 loss, making the threat of a series defeat at the hands of those Pirates a very real possibility. Well, not so fast, Reds fans. After a slow start to the day, the good guys found themselves in a 2-0 hole going into the sixth. Brandon Drury, the man, the myth, the legend, got things started with a bloop single. Three walks later, and the most magical words in baseball were spoken. Keith Henry has entered the ball game. The former Red did what he so often does and proceeded to give up a grand slam to home run derby favorite Colin Moran. The bomb was his first of the season, but he would not have to wait long for the second. Going deep again in the eighth, Tyler, oops, sorry, my cat is making an appearance here. Tyler Malley batted, battled around three walks to go five innings, giving up two earned runs with six strikeouts. And as the dust settled, your Cincinnati Reds were seven three victors showing that they care more about their mothers on Mother's Day than the Pirates players. And winning their first series of the season, what a time to be alive. The old red legs are now 5-23 and to begin the 2022 season. They find themselves in fifth place in the NL Central. That is not great. But who cares? The good guys won a season or won a series, and I am going to enjoy the heck out of it. In the way of bright spots, we had our man Brandon Drury. Like I said, he went 6-for-11 in the series. It was the... Catalyst for both of the wins. Um, you know, if you say you knew how important he was going to be to the ball club this early in the season, well, you're just a dirty liar. The two actual starting pitchers both had solid games. We have not been able to say that very often thus far, so that is definitely in the positive column. The bad was not as bad as usual. That opener debacle was rough for the second time this season. I know it wasn't the plan, but, man, I did not enjoy watching it. Kyle Farmer was once again hitless, going over 10 in the series. His Defense wasn't particularly good either. It turns out depth matters. Who would have thunk it? And that's about it. I can pick a few nits here and there, but we won the series, and that's freaking awesome. So let's just take that home. Um, we actually do have a series stud we can be excited about this time. Uh, apologies to Colin Moran, who had two home runs and six RBIs in the finale, as well as Tyler Stevenson, who I have a feeling is about to start getting a lot more notoriety league-wide. Uh, the stud this week is Brandon Drury. Six for 11, got multiple rallies started, had five RBIs of his own, and has simply been an excellent pickup so far this year. As for the series dud, the farm dog, Kyle Farmer, was brutal once again. He needs a day off, but due to poor roster construction, can't seem to get one. I do not recommend looking up Kyle's slash line unless you just don't enjoy happiness. Slumps like this, they're, they're tough, and we're all rooting for him to pull through. Some not-so-random thoughts. Reds prospect Jared Solomon, who missed 2021 following Tommy John surgery, 
Made his big league debut and pitched a scoreless inning. That's super cool. You love to see it. Welcome to the show, Mr. Solomon. Tyler Malley had a solid day on the bump, but you would not have known that if you just looked at Twitter, which is always a bad idea. I know. I mean, yeah, Tyler could afford to be more efficient, but he is a better starting pitcher than the vast majority of dudes that are going to start a game this season. Just give him a break. Um, some guy named Robert Duggar was a red for a little bit, and then he wasn't anymore. That was that was weird. Nick Lodolo was supposed to start on Saturday, leading to those openers. Uh, he was scratched after experiencing some back soreness. I'm not going to speak anything into existence and just say that I'm all for being super cautious with the young fellas. Get well soon, St. Nick. Up next, we have to play those stinking first place Milwaukee Brewers again, but in Cincinnati this time. That's the bad news. The good news? Luis Castillo is scheduled to make his season debut in the opener. Who better to kick off the matchup and get our boys on the way back to some uh, the way to back-to-back -back series wins? I, for one, am pretty darn pumped. We get a Hunter Green appearance in game two, and you heard it here first. The young fella is going six innings, one earned, nine strikeouts. Hey, enjoy the good times while they last, Reds fans, and here's to hoping there are plenty more to come. Until next time.